it's a too familiar scene, a wound that's not healing quickly enough. Well, Olga's going to learn about a wound therapy that's simple to use and will help your wound heal faster. Take a look. I'm sure many of us can relate to this. Either you or someone you know has a wound that simply is taking way too long to heal, but there's something you can do about it. Joining us with lots of insight is Dr. Allison Garten, a podiatrist, surgeon, and expert in wound care therapy. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. I'm happy to be here. Now, before we start talking about wounds and what we can do, I just want to show our audience real quick. We have this, obviously, this display, not very attractive, but this is a very common wound in people today, isn't it? What is it? Yes, this is called a venous wound. Mm -hmm on the underlying vein problem. So it's actually more common than you would think. So how often, doctor, do you see a wound that takes maybe a bit longer to heal than expected? And not just this one, but any wound for that matter. You know, you would be surprised. It's actually much more common than you think. What happens oftentimes is somebody injures their skin, so some minor injury to their skin, and they go about their daily life and they don't think too much of it. Because there's not a lot of pain, there's minimal bleeding, they continue with their daily routine mm -hmm. and then they realize it's not healing. So it's very common. And does that occur with any type of wound? It can, okay. it can occur with any type of wound. Yeah, delayed healing, slow healing can really occur with anybody. And it's really the first thing I always tell people to do is if you recognize that you have a sore, the first thing to do is actually clean the area because unfortunately wounds become infected pretty easily. You know, we're noticing small kids coming in. Young, healthy kids are coming in with a small wound and it's getting infected because our bacteria in the environment has changed so much over the years that even like a small scrape mm -hmm. on a knee, people are coming with infection. So making sure to make sure you clean it early on is most important. And why, I mean, what prevents it from healing quickly or quicker for that matter? Well, there's a lot of things. First of all, it could be somebody who has uncontrolled diabetes, mm -hmm. again, an underlying vein problem, they may have a lot of medical conditions that make their immune system weak, such as, let's say you have a patient who is, has rheumatoid arthritis and they're on chronic steroid use, or somebody who's currently undergoing cancer treatments. All those things slow a patient's healing ability. A smoker? A smoker, so yeah, things you probably already figured out. Smoking, poor nutrition, lack of exercise, those all contribute to poor healing. So are there things we can do to help our wounds heal faster? As a wound care specialist, we have tons of different treatment modalities. But there's something recently that I started to use, and every patient is unique, but I started to use a product called Pico. What is that? Pico is a negative pressure wound therapy device, and it's indicated for using on open wounds or closed incision wounds is a dressing pad. And it's this right here? Correct. So tell Correct. me what I'm looking at and what exactly it does. So this looks like a, just a, a dressing pad, right? Absolutely. But what you can't, it looks like a big Band-Aid. It does. Yeah. It looks like a big Band-Aid. But what you can not see is it's four layers of technology. And this first layer you see here goes directly on the wound bed, but it protects the wound from the outside environment. Mm -hmm. So it limits chances of the wound getting infected with this on. Okay. Secondly, because it is a nice dressing pad, it, it limits the chances of a re-injury to the wound itself. And I can feel the cushion in there. Correct. Okay. But the last three layers are really where the true technology is. It evaporates and wicks away the excess moisture. And why that's important is because having that negative pressure on the wound really helps reduce the edema by helping promote healthy tissue. Okay, so let's go back to the leg. I see there are different sizes. Yes. We're gonna talk about this in just a bit. Okay. But tell me what you would do with this poor individual who has this wound. So yes. How does Pico help this? Pico comes in several different dressing pad sizes. So mm -hmm. what I would do is determine what size is best for this wound. So I wanna make sure the dressing pad is slightly larger than the wound itself. Okay, so you kinda of cover it and beyond. And it's exactly what you said before. It is very similar to a Band-Aid. So you have the adhesive on the back side. So what I'm gonna first do is take off the adhesive from one side okay. and place it over the wound. So it's pretty easy to use. Very easy. And then I'm gonna take the adhesive from the other side and place it directly on the wound itself. Okay. And then you're just gonna firm out the edges here. So what this is doing is creating negative pressure on the wound itself and pushing away the fluid that is in the wound itself 
by minimizing the destruction to the surrounding tissue. The one thing I want to mention is you want to make sure this port, you can see the wound is here. I've tried to move the port away from the wound just a little bit. And so let's go ahead and start the device or show you how we'd start it. And we would just hit this button. And so the patient actually would feel no discomfort when the device no is on. No pain whatsoever. They may feel a little bit of pressure, but I can't tell you I've ever had a patient who's had this comfort using this device. So a lot of patients just stick it in their pocket and nobody knows they have a wound. And they leave it on for how many days? And depending on the amount of drainage, it can be left on up to seven days, which is really nice for the patients. So from a family standpoint, from a caregiver standpoint, there's a lot of ease with this use. Touching upon this one here, this is obviously an open wound. We have a larger size, same concept? Yes. You would put it over? Exactly. And the patient would get better? Exactly. Well, it will help heal the wound, and again, we're trying to help promote this healthy tissue. And doctor, can you use Pico on all types of wounds? You can use it on almost all types of wounds, from a 12-year-old healthy boy who fell off their bike to a patient who might have a diabetic foot ulcer. It can be used on almost any wound type, from open wounds to the closed incision sites. Even someone who had a C-section like me? Yes, yes. Um, surgeries, C-sections, hysterectomies, a lot of orthopedic surgeries, knee and hip replacements, very commonly used now to use PICO. And the whole goal of that is to reduce the likelihood of that incision site opening up. We call that a wound dehiscence. And unfortunately, if a wound opens up, the patient is much more likely to have an infection and oftentimes have to be readmitted back to the hospital for another surgery or for antibiotics. And who uses this actual therapy? Doctors, nurses? Yes, nurses and doctors, pretty much any healthcare professional. It's a relatively new product, so if you want to talk to your healthcare provider about it, make sure you bring that up as an option. Because I was going to tell you 15 years ago, I did not have this option and I would have worn it because I do have a scar and I've lived with it. It is what it is. You know, I've got keloids, but mm. too late now, 15 years later, sorry, <laughs> plastic surgery? Plastic Possibly. surgery. Possibly. <laughs> it's okay. I can live with it. Doctor, thank you so much. I do appreciate your time and thanks for all the information. Thank you. <laughs> Plastic surgery it is. And if you'd like more information on Pico, you can visit their website, possiblewithpico.com, possiblewithpico.com, or check out our website, thebalancingact.com.